northeastern part of China, there is a land that carries a splendid history and culture, preserving countless sagas of courage and wisdom. Let's step into Liaoning, a place famed for its world cultural heritage sites. Follow the footprints of history, listen to ancient tales, and together experience the liveliness and happiness of the people who live here. My name is Zina. I'm in Hulu Dao City, Liaoning Province. Today, I'm visiting the first UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site in northeastern China. As the Water Great Wall, which is an unparalleled part of the Great Wall, it is known as the Jumenku Great Wall. It's famous for its formidable view, where the city moves above water while water flows beneath the city. The Jumenku Great Wall was initially established 1500 years ago during the Northern Qi Dynasty. The extant Great Wall we see now dates back to the reign of Hongwu Emperor of the Ming Dynasty, when General Shu Da, on the foundations of the Northern Qi Great Wall, carried out large scale restorations. So far, it has stood for over 600 years. It was once a critical pass in the defense line of the Ming Dynasty's Great Wall. It is historically known as the first pass to the east of Beijing, meaning the first defense line for protecting Beijing. Spanning 1,980 meters in length, the water Great Wall with its sturdy gray stone body, it links with the Great Wall on the ridges of both sides in a perfect way resembling a grand dragon, crossing mountains and rivers, and enabling the Great Wall to never be interrupted by mountains or rivers. The nine five-meter wide, seven-meter high floodgates stand tall beneath the Great Wall, hence the name Jumenku, meaning the nine gates. It boasts imposing walls as defense against enemies and channels that allow floodwaters to pass. The Water Great Wall is truly a tightly guarded defense line, which highlights its exceptional military defensive ability. It also serves as an ingeniously constructed hydraulic engineering facility. Chinese agents cleverly designed fusiform bridge piers to reduce the impact of water flow. Over a century ago, during the reign of Emperor Guangxu, when the wall was repaired to prevent it from being washed away, over 12,000 stone slabs were laid, all over 7,000 square meter riverbed. These stone slabs were embedded with over 4,400 swallowtail iron hinge slots. Silver ingots were cast from molten iron to clench the stone slabs together tightly, forming a massive, evenly paved stone bed, hence the nickname Yipyanshi. The architectural form and military defense facilities of the Water Great Wall are rare among all of the Great Wall, and its unique river-spanning structure makes it an unmatched marvel in the vast network of the Great Wall. Here, I couldn't help but marvel at the innovation and ingenious craftsmanship of ancient Chinese people. The Jumenku Great Wall is equipped with military facilities including watchtowers, posts, beacon towers, garrison stations, castles, and barracks. They are carefully arranged and extremely robust. Atop the mountain, it looks like a dragon coiling and a tiger crouching as if leaping into the sky. Inside the mountain, there is a winding and twisted path plunging into tranquility. This tunnel stretches over 1,000 meters long, leading directly from the city's military training ground to the outside of the city and is equipped with a complete set of ventilation holes and drainage facilities. Hidden within are 29 caves of various sizes. These caves, once used as granaries, wells, kitchens, and garrisoned troops rooms, could comfortably house around 2,000 stationing soldiers. This tunnel serves as a testament to the profound military wisdom of ancient Chinese. On the Jumenku Great Wall, the sounds of drums echo, long sleeves and fans flutter amid the dancers. Such a lively scene, where these ladies are performing. Taiping drum dance of Western Liaoning Province, which originated in the Tang Dynasty and reached its heyday in the Qing Dynasty in China. 
Initially, it was an entertaining activity for the working men of the Manchu and Han ethnicities to celebrate the harvest and festivities during the Spring Festival. They are entertainment activities celebrating festivals over a long period of transmission. They have incorporated the life wisdom of women, preserved local folk features, and continually enrich the dance movements and drum beats. The drum beat struck at the dance have evolved into more than 300 kinds that are still widely spread among the people. These ladies hold the drum in their left hands and strike it with a drumstick in their right hands. The single skin drum, resembling a cattail leaf fan, is alive and changeable in their hands. The dance movements reflect a variety of contents like women's labor life, natural scenery, folk tales, traditional customs, and local conditions and customs. With tremendous drum sounds and dazzling spirits of the performers, the drum symbolizes the national spirit and the dance exhibits the power of the people. They are both drummers and dancers. Their dance and drum beats go hand in hand, making me feel the symbol of peace, which is the unique charm of traditional Chinese culture. The Jumenku Water Great Wall is unparalleled. The Taiping drum dance bears witness to the integration of national cultures. And Xingcheng, ancient town, is another historical treasure. I've come to this ancient city dating back to the Ming Dynasty nearly 600 years ago. As a critical part of the Great Wall defense system, it is historically known as Ningyuan Defensive Town. Climbing up to the Bell and Drum Tower, you can catch sight of the only perfectively preserved square city walls of the Ming and Qing dynasties. The four city gates correspond with each other from the east, west, south, and north. The wall stands tall at 8.8 meters, with a circumference of 3,274 meters. Every brick and stone reveals the beauty of regularity of traditional Chinese cities. The well-preserved Confucian temple pays tribute to Confucius, a thinker and educator 2,000 years ago. His Confucian thoughts have helped people all over the world better understand Chinese culture and promote exchanges and cooperation between East and West. After appreciating history, we should also feel the life of common people. I am now in the urban area. There is the seafood and pickled vegetable copper hot pot featuring Western Liaoning's characteristics, with the copper hot pot being a kitchen utensil originally used in the core of Qing Dynasty. A greater traditional sense is revealed by charcoal heating. The hot pot starts with pickled vegetables at the bottom, then food ingredients are laid in the order of the first poultry and then livestock, fish on the left and shrimps on the right. Then the thick soup is added and slowly cooked. When the hot pot is served, you can immediately taste the refreshing pickles and the rich and aromatic seafood. Even in the scorching summer, you can immerse in its delicious flavors, which also gives you a glimpse of the lively living atmosphere here. The Great Wall stands firm for peace, and the Taiping Drum prays for peace. Here, I also wish that everything in the world could go well. 